Ah, the Balkan Wars. One of, if not the most important wars that changed the Balkans forever. Why did there have to be two of them? Was the first one so goddamn good that we just really needed another one? Just one more to fuck up the already fucked up borders that we have. Bulgaria? So, what if the Second Balkan War never happened? As a good alternate historian, you should always go into details on how your scenario could be possible. Yeah, I really don't have to do that for this one. You see, the Second Balkan War happened because the Bulgarians did not get the partition of Macedonia they wanted to. And they thought they could have surprised the Serbians and Greeks by launching a surprise attack. That backfired. And the result is that it made Serbia the strongest Balkan nation in the Balkans. What the fuck did I just say? After Bulgaria had a quadruple penetrating session, they were humiliated even more with the Treaty of Bucharest, losing more of their claims in Macedonia and also losing lands to the Ottomans that they just beat last war. And let's not forget about the Romanians! Throw a gypsy joke here and let's move on. This would lead to them hating the Serbs even more. No shit. Causing them to join the Central Powers. With the Ottomans. Really, Bulgaria? Really? Did you really hate Serbia so much that you would ally yourself with Kebab? I gotta say I'm disappointed. Anyways, what needs to change for the Second Balkan War to not happen? Simple. The Bulgarians come to their senses and say, Wait, why attack my former ally? Why not just ask Russia to be the moderator for a compromise between me, the Greeks, and Serbians? Henceforth, we can reach a peace on the Balkans until one year later, the Serbs fuck that up. So they exchange territories, and then boom, problem solved. Okay now, World War I. What changes? Well, the Ottomans did not recapture Andrianople, so they could have stayed out of the war entirely, freeing a lot of men for the Allies. But if they do enter, then the Bulgarians could enter the war on the Allies' side, to try to seize territories from the Ottomans. They would be defeated. But when Romania joins the war the next year, the influx of Russian soldiers, which could help with the new front in Romania, and with the strengthening of the Bulgarian-Serbian fronts, they would push back the Ottomans. But they can't seem to break into Istanbul, so they would likely try to encircle it. The funny thing in all of this is that I see Austria surrendering first, then following them would be the Ottomans and Germany. The Austrian Empire would fall into civil war, Germany would suffer major war reparations and would lose territories on all sides. The Ottomans would be carved up by the Europeans. Yeah, they would go into civil war too, but they would control Istanbul. Only because the Russians and the British cannot seem to find a middle ground on what to do with it. The Russian civil war, if it even happens, would have been a totally one-sided ordeal. The white army would be better equipped and not totally fucked like in our time. Plus, World War One ended in 1916 in this scenario. Heck, even at the middle of 1917, the Russians would have been in a much better shape than in our timeline, as the whole Istanbul shit is sorted. Poland and Finland would be independent. Well, sorry I read that wrong. I meant puppets to Russia. Hitler and Stalin would not rise to power. For Hitler, his rise to power is mostly contributed by the Soviet Union, and with it having no chance of being born, there's no way that Stalin can take control. Unless he becomes Tsar for some reason. Without Stalin or Hitler, this should be a heaven, you say? No. 
There will always be another Hitler to blind people and direct their rage onto another people. There will always be another Stalin so blinded by power and paranoia they would kill millions to ensure safety and their grasp in power. And yes, I mean that the Tsar would turn fascist in the end. So another hiatus for me. Haha, <laughs> hopefully I'm gonna start to go up to steam with my uploads now. I do have a goal of reaching at least 48 plus videos for this year, so maybe I could upload once to twice a week when I get the motivation I need. Anyways, hope you have a great day. Subscribe and leave a like, as it really helps my ego grow and my self-esteem to be at least powered by a number greater than 10. Next video is about Middle Europa, or a new mapping series, depends on the time and when I upload shit. So see you till then. Anyways, I'm Adriatic Mapping, I hope you have a great day.